hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Stella Simbi and if you are new you're welcome and please kindly subscribe and if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for coming back so in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this frontal wig cap 11,5 by 6 11,5 by 5 11,5 by 4 and 80 frontal so please watch to the end so right here I'm going to start off by using uh, the Swiss lace a ruler measuring tape fabric marker and concealer and some pins so I'm going to place my lace like so then I'm going to i need 11 and a half and this is 12 inches so i will cut off some excess less later on so right here i'm going to start off by 11 and a half by four inches so right here i'm going to mark on five uh and half uh the other one is just some extra less that will be at the front so right here i need four uh by 11 and a half so i'm going to use my ruler to mark a straight line then I'm, I'm going to cut off the part that I marked right here. So after cutting, I'm going to cut off that excess lace right there at the sides. Uh, that I won't be ventilating so I'm going to fold my lace in half then I'm going to pin it down because I want to do the hairline I'm going to show you right here how to draw uh, a nice hairline so before I do that I have to cut uh, that excess lace right there I want everything to be equal the length everything to be equal so I'm going to mark uh, using concealer right here on four inches then I'm going to um, use my ruler to mark the other dots so i'm dotting on two inches uh from the middle to, uh, coming to the ear part so two inches right here then two inches right here and the remaining part i'm just going to dot it like that then i'm going to draw uh to draw like a curve from the ear going in a curve right here and then i'm going to draw another cave then right here uh, in the uh, on the middle, I'm going to draw half of the curve. Then the other side of the curve, it will continue uh, when I flip the lace. So it will be two curves uh, on the uh, on the left side, two curves on the right side, and one curve in the middle. So after I flip the lace, I'm just going to trace the same mark that I uh, the same hairline that I drawed on the other side. So right here, when I remove the pins. Uh, it will connect uh, with the other side so right here I want to cut off that uh, corner right here to make that curve uh, which you see on front house enclosure so just mark a curve with your uh, concealer or marker then cut it off just a small piece uh, at the curve so right here this is how the hairline is looking and I'm just going to mark that portion at the middle that uh, is not marked right here uh and this is uh it's four and like four and a quarter but the quarter i'm not going to ventilate it it's just going to be an excess lace that i'm going to sew on my wake up so right here i'm going to do the six uh six by eleven and a half and i'm going to mark seven and a half the other one and a half inches is going to be excess lace at the front but we'll later uh cut it off when the wig is ready so just cut it off like we did on the uh, 4 uh, by 11 and a half. So it's the same thing that I'm going to do right here. So guys, these uh, closures, these frontals that I'm doing right here, I'm going to use them um, in a series. Like I'm going to do part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 of frontal ventilation. And I'm going to show you different ways of ventilating, different patterns of ventilating. And I'm also going to show you what I'm going to use uh, those frontals for like uh i will show you the type of ventilation and spacing and i will show you what wig is best for that frontal so guys if you are new please 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 subscribe so that you won't miss out guys i will, I will be spilling the tea guys i will be telling you everything like it's going to be lit right here guys i'm going to show you everything the tricks the tips everything guys so you have to stick around to see all the front towels the six by eleven and a half the uh five by eleven and a half four by eleven and a half and the t frontal and what i'm going to use those 
are uh, closures so if you don't know how to ventilate you have to watch these guys if you are you really want to make frontals if you have a passion for frontals you really have to subscribe turn on the notification bell and you will see the ventilation process of all the four frontals and the wigs that i'm going to use them uh the wigs that i'm going to make using those frontals guys uh yeah so right here i'm done with this one and I'm going to be showing you uh, how to cut out the T frontal. So right here, the T frontal, I wanted to do five by 11 and a half. So right here, I'm, I'm going to mark uh, three inches right here at the back. So one inch like that, one inch, then half an inch, half an inch, uh, which will make three inches right here at the back. So just mark that uh, three inches with using my ruler because I want the lines to be straight. So when I cut the lace, it will be straight. So right here at the front, I'm going to mark another three inches. Uh, one inch is going to be the extra less and two inches is what I'm going to ventilate So I'm going to join the size that three inches and I'm going to draw a straight line right here To the point where I mark the three inches at the back and connect it like that Then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side Just draw a line going from the back to the front of the frontal like that Then I'm going to draw another line connecting from the middle to the other side of the frontal like that then i'm going to uh cut off the less tracing the lines that i marked right there and that's how you make a t frontal just as simple as that so the five by eleven and a half i did it off camera and um i just uh did the same but it's that that it's just that i did not cut the sides of right there so this is the five uh by 11 and a half by three yeah the three frontal so right here i'm going to pin it down i want to show you how i did the hairline right here so just pin it down make sure uh the sides are equal like when you pin it down make sure the sides are equal so i'm going to mark uh the center right here from the center to the side i'm going to mark two inches using my concealer it doesn't matter if you use concealer or fabric marker you just remove it when you're done making your wig like when you're done vent there uh, with the ventilation process so just draw your caves like that joining uh your dots make sure that your dots are in a straight line the caves are just going to be like your natural hairline is caves so uh guys i hope you understand what i'm trying to do right here i want us to be on the same line so when i'm doing the ventilation process you will understand uh what i will be talking about then cut off the corner like that to make a curve so guys stay tuned for the ventilation stay tuned guys like you're going to enjoy it guys so these are the front house guys these are this is how they are looking and i'm going to show you right here on this video how to sew them uh on your wig cap so guys keep watching yeah so i will be showing you uh using these two wig caps i'm going to show uh to sew the four by eleven and a half and the t frontal I'm going to show you those two. They are the five and a, uh, the five by eleven and a half, and the six by eleven and a half. I just uh, you just saw them the same as you did this four by eleven and a half. So right here, I'm just going to place my list. And guys, make sure you leave two inches right uh, from the hairline going backwards. Make sure you leave two inches so that when you wear your wig cap, it will lay really well on the ear part. It won't irritate you. It will lay perfectly on the ear part so make sure when you're sewing your frontal wigs uh you leave two inches or one and a half for the ear part that you want so so right here just place your lace like this um and then i'm going to sew starting from the middle going all the way to the ear then after sewing this side i'm going to go to the other side and sew from the middle to the other side of the ear so guys just keep watching while I'm sewing right here
so i'm done sewing i'm just going to cut off the wig cap underneath uh the swiss lace make sure you cut this slowly and carefully we don't want to cut off the lace like if you cut off the lace you have to start over like there's no way to correct that mistake you have to start over sewing another uh, lace so make sure when you are doing this you have to cut it slowly and don't cut uh don't cut too close to the lace uh so make sure you take your time when cutting this so after cutting i'm just going to put it uh, back on the mannequin so that you can see how it's looking uh, like then i'm going to show you how to sew the t frontal uh wig cap so keep watching guys on the t frontal i'm going to fold it uh enough if you want to see like where the middle part is set exactly then i'm going to pin it down like so then i'm going to sew starting from the middle going to the ear and then the other side starting from the middle going to the ear uh like that just sewing 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 yeah and um like this lace is stretchy so i had to cut uh another uh half and an e half of an inch so when i put it in my head like on the ear side it was uh there was a little bit extra lace that was not comfortable so i had to cut it off so it ended up being um 11 inches right there from ear to ear it ended up being 11 in, uh, 11 inches but uh people's heads are different so you have to measure uh your measurements from ear to ear some people are 13 inches some people are 12 some people are 11 some people 10 yeah 10 so you have to measure first then try on your wig cap if it's too big you can then mark uh, the excess less then cut it off until you see that it is laying perfectly it's, uh, it's not irritating on the ears make sure that it's laying flat on the ears like that so i had to cut off those excess less like uh, as you can see right there so this is how it's looking this is how it's looking so right here in my head this is how it's looking so guys thank you so much for watching and if you are new please don't forget to subscribe so guys i'm going to use the frontals that i'm going to make uh to make a cornrows wig to make a hair wig to make a nano braided wig to make um I don't know <laughs> i will see so guys please 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 share guys sharing is caring share to anybody you think that they need to see this it might help them and if you're new please don't forget to subscribe see you guys thank you for watching